Welcome back. Joining us now is Todd Fitzgerald. You are the Ironman 70.3 race director. Tell me about the Ironman. Yes, so um, the Ironman uh, race is coming up this weekend. Uh, consists of a 1.2 mile swim first, if that's not enough. enough. Uh, <laughs> then we'll go into a 56 mile bike ride. Uh, through West Texas, and then they'll be finishing in downtown Lubbock on the bike course uh, in, in Texas Tech, and they'll have a 13.1 mile run. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be a, a long day for the athletes out there. For sure. Well, not just that, but volunteers. Yes. Yes, this event cannot happen without the support of the volunteers and the local community that comes out to volunteer to support this event. Um, we'll have up to 400 volunteers and we will always take more um <laughs> starting friday and saturday if everybody wants to volunteer uh they can come in and check in at the uh, lubbock civic center okay mm -hmm. like a lot of other things got put on delay postponement yes. didn't happen last year but we're back we're back we're ready it was uh the city and and our teams have been working diligently together this past year to make sure this race comes off and it's gonna be great we're so excited to be back yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Now, this has been going on. This is like the longest race consistency in the state of Texas and one of the longest races in the U.S. It is really remarkable. It, this race will be year 32. Um, it's, it just speaks a lot volumes of, of the support that Lubbock has uh, around this event. It, it really is. 32 years is, is, is amazing. It really is. Yes. And for folks who don't know how the Ironman works, so this is not the final stage. You've got one more in Hawaii, right? Yeah, so what's unique about this event um, surrounding the, our, our World Championships in Kona, um, a lot of athletes that are qualified like to use this race as preparation because the, the, the conditions here uh, uh, mimic uh, Kona. Um, also a big thing for our, our, our world champs here is that we are offering uh, North America world championships for our uh, physically challenged athletes. So there will be slots on the line for Kona here in Lubbock. That is great. Now how many athletes do we have participating this year? Yeah, so we have 1,600 registered um, and we're still taking people that want to come and race. Wow. Yeah. Any notable ones that we may have heard of? The or? notable ones this year are the physically challenged athletes. Oh, it's going to be absolutely amazing to see them out there racing for the Kona slots. It's going to be amazing. I think we have six right now. Um, so the, the show is going to be on, 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 on them this year. Very nice. Yeah. And of course, it starts really early in the morning. Can people come and kind of spectate for the whole thing? If, if, if they're not volunteering, can they come out and do that? Yes, yes. We'd love them to volunteer, yes. but... So yes, the race starts at historical Dunbar Lake um, at 6.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. early. Uh, but we have everything in place for everybody to come and spectate. We'll have lights, so uh, we'll, we'll be there bright and early. Um, so you could watch the race start at uh, Dunbar Lake. And then uh, the next best viewing area will be at Texas Tech. And that'll be where the athletes transition from bike to run. And they'll also uh, finish there. So you could see basically two disciplines in one area and the finish line. And before we go, you've trained for these before. How do you prepare for an Ironman event like this one? It's it's hard to explain. It's um, I can't imagine. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> a lot of discipline, a lot of patience, and a lot of work, and um, and a lot of determination. Uh, some of these athletes are putting anywhere from twenty to thirty hours a week of training. If that puts wow. it into into wow. any kind of perspective um, but it's, it's like another it's job a, it's another job yes, yes it is. Yeah. it's incredible not for the faint of heart nope definitely <laughs> not for me but we'll be there you know cheering people on yes that's what we can contribute all right well Todd thank you so much for being with us and talking about this again Sunday morning starts at 6 30 a.m. at mm -hmm. Dunbar Lake over at Texas Tech they start the biking and finish the biking over and uh, running all over in that area yeah. sounds, sounds great. great all right stick around sports is next